guys. Today we are going to talk about seeds. And you know what? We all eat seeds. If you eat cereal, you eat seeds. This has two kinds of seeds in it. It has rice and it has chocolate. That's right. Chocolate comes from seeds. But today I want to talk more about the kind of seeds that you would find out in nature at the park. And sometimes the best place to start to learn about something is with a really good book. And I found this book called A Sleep, uh, Seed is Sleepy by Diana Hutchaston and Sylvia Long. And moms and dads, you're gonna love this because it has all these seeds in it that your kids can look at, identify, and love. Okay, a seed is sleepy. It lies there tucked inside its flower on its cone or beneath the soil, snug and still. A seed is secretive. It doesn't reveal itself quickly. Most leaves, seeds sleep through a season or two. And oh, this is mountain laurel. You know, those purple flowers that smell like grape Kool-Aid. And here's the seeds for it. They're nice and safe in their pods. And these are really hard, and if I whack the seeds, the seed cuts really hard too. Sometimes these will take 10 years before there's enough food, water, and shelter for them to grow, and this protects them. Okay, a seed is fruitful. 90% of plants on the earth are flowering plants. Flowering plants produce fruits. And the fruits come in all shapes and textures and keep the seed cozy. And I want to show you a couple of seed or fruits that we have in the park. Okay, this is a cactus, a prickly pear tuna. And I'm fooling with a knife and fork with it because it has the little spines on it. Um, cactus have two kinds of spines. They have those long spines that, you know, that you know they'll stay away from, but they have the little bitty glotteds, the short ones that get into you. And look at all the seeds that are hidden in here and with the sweet pink fruit. Okay, and another fruit that we have here is the persimmon. Okay, and this one I'm just gonna kind of squish. This one doesn't have spines or thorns. But look at that. These are real sweet and pretty much all animals uh, love these. And they also make good bread, kind of like pumpkin bread. Okay, and we're gonna do something else with these in a bit. Okay, fruitful. A seed is naked. These are seeds that don't have fruit around them, like pine cones. You can see in here, there are little uh, holes in these where the seeds were before they popped out. Seeds come in many sizes. They can be tiny, 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 or they can be really big, like the coconut. Seeds are adventuresome. Seeds must strike out on their own in search of a less crowded place to put down roots. And here I have something called pearl milkweed. 
and let's see the seeds are kind of hidden on the ends here and these will go flying as will something called old man's beard you see the seeds on there they're teeny tiny and they fly like little parachutes A seed is inventive. It can leap out of a flower or, well, I can't find them now, stick on your shoelaces. And boy, do I have a lot of that. Or if it can stick to your shoelaces, it's going to stick to animal fur. And also, there's another way it can spread through animals. We have here for your viewing pleasure. Guess what this is? Yep, this is animal poop. You know what animal poop is called? This is called scat. Okay, and I've got two different kinds of scat here. If you look inside this one, I'm not seeing it so much now. You see the little bits of pink in here what do you think this guy was eating all the little tiny pink seeds this one obviously ate a cactus tuna and then there's this one with the bigger seeds and up that looks like somebody really chowed down on a bunch of persimmons okay the next page. A seed is generous. A seed has everything in it to help the baby plant grow. Okay, all of that here is the seed leaf and that's all food for the seed. This is the seed coat and that's the little root and the little shoot. Okay, and if I take a seed, these are pinto beans, and if I break it in half, this is, these have been soaking in water. Okay, look at what you can see. All of, oops, all of that is what's going to feed the plant. And then here you have the little roots starting, and here you have the little leaves starting. And these are going to grow bigger until this one's got lots of roots and oh it still doesn't have much in the way of uh, leaves on it and you can make something to grow beans this is a seed house you just take a plastic bag and a wet paper towel and put uh, a couple of bean seeds in it and they'll sprout and you'll have leaves just pin this on the wall very cool. Okay, a seed is thirsty and hungry. Once a seed has shed its coat, it drinks the rain and the dew, and it feasts on minerals in the soil. Okay, and that's what's going on here. One part of the uh, seed, the shoot, is sensitive to light so it reaches for the sun and part of the seed the root reaches down thanks to gravity down deep into the soil and so you can watch all of that a seed is clever it knows to seek the sunlight to push itself up 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 through the soil but it must wait before that happens. It's gonna have to have four things that everything needs to live. Food, water, shelter, and space. And so, a seed is sleepy. 
but only until it has found a place in the sun and it's had its breakfast and a drink of water, and then a seed is. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Awake! Yay! Okay, thank you for joining us.